Hello everyone, my name is Laura Burns and in Exire you have several options to search through your Lightroom catalog very quickly and very efficiently. One of those options is the keyword search. And you don't have to assign keywords to photos yourself. Exire has actually already given every photo in your catalog keywords during the initialization process. So the keywords are already assigned and attached to those photos. But you may look over here at the Lightroom Keyword Tags window and notice that nothing is there. I will also click a few photos and then I'll select the whole row and there are still no keywords. That is because Exire deposited the keywords as well as the photo properties it identified into the Exire specific catalog. You have the option in the pro version of transferring the keywords that Exire created to your Lightroom catalog as well. You can find that under plugin extras in library, but in order to search by keyword in Exire, you don't need to do that. The keywords are already available through Exire. And we will definitely look at all the possibilities you have searching by keyword in Exire. But before we do, go back to library and then plugin manager. And as you can see, when I open the license tab, I have the Exire Pro version. And when you have the Pro version, Exire can assign 535 keywords. In the Exire search version, it can assign 125 keywords. So that is already a clear difference. And basically in the Pro version, you have many more keywords, which makes your search much more efficient and much more nuanced. Additionally, the dominant colors in a picture are also noted during the initialization process. So in addition to keywords, Exire also has the dominant colors that you can use. That being said, we now go to library and plug in extras and select search by keyword. Now we have this window. In this text field at the top, you can type in a keyword yourself. However, the keywords in the search are, of course, the ones that Exire has provided. So for new users who are just starting to use the search feature and the keywords are not so obvious or logical for you because you don't know what the keywords or base keywords Exire has available, and that will come in time as you work more with it and you become more familiar with the keywords. And then you will be able to type it in quickly in the quick search box. But until then, we have below that two fields. The first we can use to search for the photo contents. And the second is to search for characteristics of a photo. And here we see numerous options. When you see, like here, a keyword but no number next to it, which shows how many photos in your catalog have that keyword. You know that this is a generic keyword. And when you click it, you get the more specific keywords. And let's look now at the image property tab. Here we have all in a row. Photo characteristics from bright to colorless to dark and so on. And so here is where you can look for specific characteristic keywords. But we are going back to the image content field. As I mentioned earlier, in addition to Exire's keywords, 125 in the search version and 535 in the pro version, there is also the option to search by dominant color or to supplement your search with dominant color. So to get this started, we will do a few quick example searches. And if you have already watched the tutorial about how to search with an example photo, then you already know about this, but you can search through your whole catalog or just one film strip. So for example, just one photo collection. And here at the bottom, you can change the number of results you want to be displayed. 
The minimum number is 10 and the maximum is 5,000. 5,000 is a few too many photos at a time for me, so I prefer to work with 50 photos instead. And usually that amount of results is plenty adequate. And when you select this option and the search is concluded, Exire makes a collection called Exire Search. Uh, it is a sort of photo container for the results. If you select this overwrite option, the results will be overwritten when you do another search. When you don't select this option, Exire will create a separate collection for that type of search function. So we have one here already for the example photo search. Inside are the collections generated from those searches with example photos. And they are automatically named by the date and time the collection was created. And of course, in this instance, the keywords will also be included in those titles. So we'll start with our first example. And our first search is for photos of a bicycle. And I'll go ahead and type that into the search bar. Luckily, that keyword is there. And there are 103 results. So you can already see the number of photos with that keyword and I have the number of results to be displayed at 50, but you could change that to 103 if you wanted to see all of them. Here you can see a list of search terms. If I was to type in more keywords, that list would get longer. Exire can search for more than one criterion. So for example, we could look for a red bicycle, but I will do that in a separate example. If you want to get rid of a search criterion, then you can do so by clicking the X next to it and it will go away. So now we can search for the bicycle and the search goes very quickly. Here we get the notice that our results are not sorted by our search criteria, but rather by capture time. Turning custom order on is actually pretty important because then the results will appear in the order of how closely they resemble or match the user's search criteria. And so basically, if you want to make your search as efficient as possible, you definitely want to make sure that custom order is on. And down here in the toolbar, I can change it to sort by custom order. If you don't see this toolbar, then you just have to type the letter T. And if you don't see the sorting option, then click this arrow on the bottom right hand side and click sorting. And then you'll have the option to sort by custom order. As expected, there are only photos of bicycles present. And we have a whole assortment of bike images. So there's pictures of bikes by themselves or people riding them or just sections of the bike, just kind of a whole variety. And Exire has generated a collection, especially for this keyword search. And all 50 of the results for this keyword are in there. And as you can see, it's titled with the date, time, and keyword. If you want to search for images of bicycles later, you don't have to do a brand new search again, rather, you can come back to this collection that you already created. So of course you can search with not only one keyword but several. I hinted at this earlier. So I will go back to search by keyword. We can see that Exire still shows what we previously searched for. So you can alter or refine your search. We're not going to do that right now. We will do a new search and also I want to include searching by image characteristics. So to do that we will click photography. Like I said earlier, photography is one of those broad general categories so it doesn't show a number beside it. But when we click it, it will show us more specific categories. So we'll click there and you can see the different photography keywords that Exire attached to photos in your catalog.
And you can also see that Exire is very strong at identifying keywords that interest us photographers. So for example, here are keywords like bokeh, like HDR, and in this case extreme, when the colors are very strong and extreme. You can search for leading lines, you can search for silhouettes, and so on. So basically many things that tackle the photo content and are very important elements. And I want to do that right now. For this example, I want to use a combination of keywords and I want to look for photos that have leading lines. And we see that currently there are 386 photos with the keyword leading lines. And then I want to add a second keyword. So down here is symmetry. We see down here that there are 28 photos with both keywords. I don't want to click the overwrite option. Instead, I want the results of this keyword search to be a new collection that will go under the search by keyword tab. And I'll go ahead and let it search my whole catalog because it goes very quickly. So I'll double check the criteria. And we already have 28 photos and they contain not only leading lines, and once again, I'll make them bigger so you can see them a little bit better, but also photos that are additionally pretty symmetrical. Another possibility, and you've probably already noticed this, we also have the option of searching by dominant color. For that, I am going to X out of this, and I don't need this because I want to just search by color. And I want to search for a color that is probably not so typical in your catalog, like red or green in landscapes. So I want to search this time for pink. And like before, we can see that the number of photos with pink as the dominant color is 52. In this case, I want to see all 52 images. So I'll type that in here at the bottom. And this time I'll also select the overwrite feature. So the results of this search will replace the 45 photos currently in the Exire search folder on the left side. So when the search is complete, it will show that 52 photos are in that folder. So now we will begin the search for all the pink photos in my Lightroom catalog. And I'll just quickly double check that the rest of the search criteria are as I want them. That was it. Here are the results with pink as a dominant color. I'm going to make them smaller again so that we can see all of the photos. And as I already said, since I selected the overwrite search option, Exire put the results in this folder that can be overwritten. And there's not much else to say. As you can see, pink is the dominant color. And lastly, I want to show you how to combine these search criteria together in one search. So in this case, I'll choose a keyword and a dominant color. And I don't want pink as the dominant color this time. First, I'll look for image property keywords. And specifically, I want colorful photos, really intensely colorful photos. And many photos have that keyword, 1,872 to be exact. That number will be reduced quickly when I choose the dominant color, and I'll choose green. And now there is only 298 photos that match the criteria. I will change the number of results to 50 and keep the override option and click start. And at first glance, the dominant color is green and all the photos have intense color as well.